This short video is just going to show the basics of setting up a very simple two screen show on the Christie Spider X80. To start in Spider Studio, we go to File, New. We're going to start with an empty configuration. And this is just assuming that we're getting a spider and a laptop from a workshop and whatever was previously configured is not going to apply to us. Keep these three as normal. We want to enable preview. Click next. In our pixel spaces, we're going to add two spaces. I'm going to name the first one projector. I'm going to name the second one downstage monitor. By default, the two pixel spaces are 1920 by 1080. And you can change these to be pretty much anything um, that's relevant to your show. If you wanted to make it a 720 screen or maybe a 4K screen, as long as you know the numbers or you do the math, you can make that happen. In this case, we're going to use a 1080p projector and a 1080p uh, TV uh, downstage as a monitor. Click Next. We're going to drag Output 1 and drag out Output 2. Click on Output 1 and reference projectors and you want to align it in the center both directions. Click Output 2, reference it to the downstage monitor and align that as well. And of course we'll give these names we're going to do the same thing. Projector and downstage monitor. Output 4 and 8, 12, and 16 are, as a best practice, reserved for multi views. Click Next. If you want to, you can clear all existing data. I've already done that before this video, so I'm just going to keep it at none. If you wanted to add routers, one of the nice things about the Spider is that it has some built-in router support, and you can actually control router in and outs straight from the Spider. You don't have to have a separate window or a separate computer to configure your routers. Click Next. In this case, we're going to apply it to our local PC. If you had a connection over Ethernet to Spider hardware, you would just send it, you could choose to send it to the hardware uh, for setup. We'll hit OK and close. And this is our space. So let's click all to get it in the center. And here at the view stack, we have all pixel spaces, or I can split it up into our projector and downstage monitor. At this point, we're going to add a source, so right-click on Source. Uh, wherever you've plugged in, that's where you're going to click that corresponding number. We're going to add new source, give it a name. Let's call it Graphics1. Input type, we're going to, you can either have it automatically scan for the input, or we can define it. I'm going to define it as an HDMI input. It's on the internal hardware, that's the card that's built into the spider, rather than a router. It's on input 1. It's not 3D, so there's no stereo. And then we'll go create and configure. Failed to enter. No output is designated. Okay, so we just have to make sure to designate an output. We go down here. I'm going to click output 4, which I'll be using in the future as my multi-view. Right click. Go set as configuration output. So now that I clicked away and back, we can see that little wrench. We know that that's what it needs to be. Go back here, right click, configure. We don't have any preferred treatments. We haven't made any yet. We just want to look down here. And right now, uh, by default, it's 1280 by 1024. So we'll load a standard. I'm going to scroll through all of our standards, get down to 1080p 60 or 1080p 59.94. Either one is good. Um, just depends on what your hardware can support. I'm going to go with 59.94 and click Save. 
and this way the graphics one is configured as 1080p input. If we want to, we can use a thumbnail. You can either capture the thumbnail from your source, which is probably what you'll want to do. But in the case of this practice, I'm just going to browse. Here we go. Now we have graphics one as our input and we've got a thumbnail for it. If you want to see this source, um, let's say that our projector is up and running and we just want to drag it in and make sure things are working. Just drag it straight into the program window of our projector. Let's go ahead and size it up. There we go. And you would be able to see that. On the downstage monitor, let's do the same thing. From here, you can add more sources, such as camera, or playback, or anything else that you might be plugging in. So, we'll create and configure. Now, as for the camera, we use our thumbnails. Looks like I forgot to change the size here. The easiest way, if all your sources are 1080p, and in my case they are, is to click on output, and we'll use the output that we already set earlier for the 1080p graphics. Looks like that did it. Our camera is now 1080p, as we can see down here, operating at 5994. Of course, if your camera doesn't support 5994, you would want to change those standards to be more appropriate to what uh, the camera is outputting. So now we've got camera on the projector and graphics down below. Uh, of course, we can also drag things into the preview pane. There we go. And there we go. Click that, make it bigger, and now oh, we haven't set any triggers yet. But we'll have to save that for another video. That's it for the very basic setup of the Christie Spider. This will get an image on the screen.